now we will just move to this next topic that is the cmsis uh, it means common microcontroller software Inter interface standard so this is important this international standard um, so we will see that what does it mean <laughs> normally cmsis uh, cmcs is a vendor independent hardware abstraction layer so hatch shortly we call this as a hardware abstraction layer hal hall i think when you do start the programming you will talk about this hall hall library and so on so the cms uh, cmc is a uh, vendor independent it, if it says vendor dependent then each company will have their own cmc standard but this is a vendor independent it means it's not depending on the vendor so st microelectronics may uh, maybe some other companies like uh, toshiba or sony so everyone may have their own microcontroller but everyone should follow the same cmsis or cmc standard so that is it's a common standard everyone should follow that international standard so it's a generic tool interface uh, especially this is uh, to help the users uh, uh, for microcontrollers that are based on ARM Cortex processors. Okay, so uh, they use uh, this CMC, CMC's based uh, hall, that is hardware abstraction layer tools. So why we need C CMSIS or CMC's? So it enables consistent device support and simple software interfaces to the processor and its peripherals. Uh, simplifying software reusage and reducing the learning curve of our microcontroller developers and reducing the time to market for new devices. When all the companies are following the same standard, so they have to create the same interface, user interface for, for example. So then it's easy for the learners to learn and it's easy to discuss. You, you can also easily switch the microcontroller from one company to another company. If every company is following different types of interfaces and compilers and uh, methodologies, then it's going to be difficult for users. So it's same like the electrical uh, the stick contact or plug point. It's the standard one. Everyone should follow the standard, the measurements, how much uh, dia should be the hole and so on. And similarly, the switches we are using in our home. So the, the international committees, they developed some standards. So different manufacturers, different vendors, they have to follow the same standard. So that's easy for the users and also for the installers. Here is the small curve. So you can see here, the hardware cost, development cost is getting more and more less from 1970 to 2010 just exponentially going down but at the same time software cost is going more and more up so here is going down the hardware cost but software cost is going up because uh, we are always doing some r d and innovation and we are inventing new softwares because even though the hardware is just like the the body the software is the one is uh, driving the hardware so whatever the advancements we are introducing in the software, so we can make use of the hardware in that way. So hard software cost is uh, really getting high uh, when the years growing more and more. Okay. And CMC's compilers with uh, MISRA and ISO ATS16949 standards. So this uh, one must follow the standard. So please remember the standard name ISO and TS16949. So it helps industrial standardization. As I told you, so different vendors are using uh, cores, maybe from the same company or from different companies, and they are developing new microcontrollers. And if everyone follow different standard, then it's going to be more complicated for the user like us. Okay, so CM, uh, CMCs is not a huge software layer that introduces overhead and does not define standard peripherals. So this is not really uh, uh, making any problem to the actual hardware microcontroller. 
and this is not giving any extra overhead to the memory this is a very light weight software remember this word in the in the software industry we have a heavy weight and light weight softwares so this is a light weight standard software this hall and this inter it does not introduce really overhead and external it's not really uh, occupying any of the peripherals uh, of the uh, microcontrollers and the silicon industry uh, can therefore support wide variations of cortex m processor uh, based devices with this common standard so it's also easy for the companies to develop more and more different versions of the microcontroller from uh, as i said like m m0 m1 and so on up to m7 and also they have different families it's really because of the they follow the standards this is the standard so uh, the committees and scientists they defined all the rules uh, in this uh, uh, standards and the developers uh, the, the vendors the microcontroller producing vendors they have to follow these standards and cmc's architecture and this is how it looks like so in the normally the this is the microcontroller this is the core and we have the peripherals communication peripherals specialized peripherals and so on and how this cmc spec is organized here we, uh, it's just given um, here we have the rtos that is the real time operating system and here we have the dsp digital signal processing drivers and this is the peripheral uh, hall so i already said hall means hardware abstraction layer so this is just uh, the architecture of this cmcs uh the benefits of the cmcs are uh cmcs reduces the learning curve so you can use any kind of ide maybe in this course you may use kale u vision so kale u vision or you can use any other ides uh, you can use the um, stm 32 um, cube mx Uh, you can use the cube ide i am shortly calling this as a cube ide but this is the whole complete name is stm32 cube mx and stm32 cube ide or you can use this kind of klu vision ide or any other ide you can use why because because all the software's development they are following these standards this kind of standard layers that's why you are able to use the same ways just like uh, the user interface you will have the compiler button you will have the program running button you have the pause button so everything is kind of standard so it helps the learner to learn the software easily to learn the tool easily and of course it also reduces the development cost for the these kind of tool developers and it's fast time to market so they can introduce into the market very soon or very fast so uh, these are some practical advantages of this uh, cmcs uh, maybe i am not sure i should read these things so uh, just to please read these uh, points uh, by yourself and these are some advantages uh, we are getting from this cmcs standard